she cares about is money in the city where she's from Her intention is the paper, she don't need no fucking love She's spilling all this liquor, trying to pass me all these ups Oh baby girl, I'm told and somebody should have told her Dudes and dudettes, good morning guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. So, if you guys are OG subscribers of the channel, I appreciate every single one of you, but if you guys were here in 2017, I made a video titled, This is How I Gain a Full Ride Scholarship, and in that cringeworthy video, uh, please don't watch that video, it's very, very bad, but in that video I talked about some of the main points, how to mark yourself in 2017 regarding playing college soccer and gaining a full ride scholarship. Now, things have changed, things have adapted, and things have evolved, so the points I made in that video do kind of apply today, but they kind of don't as well. So I'm kind of reamp um, this video and this topic in general and kind of talk about the main points, how to mark yourself in 2019, how to gain a full ride scholarship in college soccer. So sit back and relax and uh, let's go ahead and roll the intro and begin today's video. All right, so we're inside the computer door, and before we get in the main portion of today's video, which is obviously marking yourself to college coaches, we need to kind of step back a little bit and talk about just two attributes that are attached to the main subject and then kind of preface the main topic, and that is just having a video and having good grades. If you guys don't have those two things, it's very hard to effectively mark yourself to your fullest ability and just fullest potential. So we're assuming right now that you have those two things. This video is not for the players that don't have those two things because we can't really market you again to your fullest potential um, in comparison to someone that has those two things. So step back a little bit, um, pause this video if you want to, and come back another time and watch this segment of the video because it's not going to do you much good to learn about how to market yourself when you don't have a video and you don't have good grades. So if that makes sense, we can carry on with the video. Even if we both break down tonight. All right, so to begin, let's just kind of talk about the video itself and what you need in order to make a quality highlight video. So. Back when I was in high school, I paid someone $500 to actually create my highlight video, which is way over the top. You guys can do your video in probably like an hour to two hours, um, if that. Once you master kind of the editing um, service that you have, it's very easy to create a professional highlight video. So let's not overthink the process of making the video to start. It's just acquiring the footage. It's filming every single one of your games uh, from a high vantage point. There's many coaches in college that won't even watch footage just film from head height. So looking down on the field is the best kind of vantage point because you can see the entire field and the player um, in question that's being recruited or scouted um, very clearly. So ideally it's filming from a sports mast, it's filming from a hill, or a grandstand. Uh, that's the best way to film a match is looking down on the field. So once you have that footage looking down the field, it just comes down to editing it and making it look professional. Um, so the best kind of way to do that is through two very basic editing services, and that's iMovie and that's Windows Movie Maker. There's two very basic services out there that are free if you have a PC or if you have a Mac, and those are again iMovie and Windows Movie Maker. So down at the bottom of the screen, if you look down there, we can see that five Adobe products or five Adobe apps um, on the dock itself. And inside those apps is a very specific editing service to complete a very specific editing task. Um, the one in the middle is called Premiere Pro, and that's like the best editing service to make videos um, in existence at this moment in time. Uh, we're not going to use that because most players don't have Premiere Pro to make a highlight video. So we're using iMovie. It doesn't take some fancy, professional, um, expensive editing service to make a highlight video. All it takes is creativity and patience. That's it. Um, so in order to get started, we just have to open up a new project and drag in the footage, and we can begin. So the first player that we're going to take a look at regarding their video is Daniel Aziz. Um, he's a player right now with an MPM that marking for college in 2020. 20, wants to go to college next year. And looking at his video from a holistic point of view, it could use some work. Um, I've seen better, I've seen worse, but we're gonna see what he did right, what he did wrong, what he can improve upon, and just kind of chop it up and make it more professional, more concise, quicker, sharper, and just more appealing for coaches to see and watch the entire duration of the video. So starting from the beginning, um, the first kind of problem with it is that the intro card is not the best. Um, Daniel, I love you, uh, you know that, but your intro card is garbage. It's like a darker kind of image with black text, which from a marketing point of view does not really mesh together, does not go together well. So um, ideally, it's at least like white text that goes with the black kind of darker image. Um, and there's way too much information on this one picture as well. It's like information overload. Coaches don't know what to look at. The coaches section, the bio section, your height, your weight, like there's a lot of stuff going on here. It's very busy for me personally. And it's way too long as well. So the first image we have here is over five seconds. The next image is about four seconds, and then the final image is his transcripts, which I've never seen personally someone put transcripts in their video. Um, so that has to go in my opinion. You don't put transcripts on a highlight video. Um, but looking at 
his intro total time is 14 seconds. And that's way too long for most coaches to sit there and watch just your intro for 14 seconds. They want something that's quick, sharp, to the point, and they understand how you play um, in a quick fashion. So having an intro that's 14 seconds is no bueno. So that needs to be fixed without a question. And then moving on to his um, to his actual game footage, it's very good, um, to be honest. Like most players, again, are filming from head height. You can't see really the player in question, but he actually has his games uh, filmed from high vantage point. You can see the entire field looking down on it. Um, and it's a quality camera as well. But the video itself is way too long in my opinion. Um, it's seven minutes, which coaches don't want to watch a seven minute video. If they want to see more footage or if they're impressed by your footage, they'll ask for more footage. Um, it's not giving them everything that you have right now. It's giving like a little sample platter, a little appetizer, and then giving them the full kind of meal if that makes sense. So ideally like your video should be between like two to four minutes. Um, anything more than that is just kind of a waste of time to be honest because coaches don't watch more than like two to four minutes. So give me like 20 or 30 minutes here guys. I'm gonna chop this up and make it more professional, more condensed, more concise to the point, quicker, sharper, and just more appealing for coaches to watch. And then we'll just go from there. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so we are back and after about, I don't know, probably about an hour and a half worth of dabbling and trying to experiment with this or that, um, we've arrived at this kind of final product. And um, this isn't probably the final final product, but this is what I came up with in that um, hour and a half of experimenting and uh, just seeing what would work for him. So I'll just kind of play it and um, just tell me what you guys think. So hopefully you guys liked it. Um, in my opinion, it's a lot more just sharp, to the point, cleaner, sharper, and just more concise. Like old info about Daniel they need to know about him uh, from a college coach's perspective is there. Like there's no additives, there's no bull there's no extras. It's just old info that you need to know about Daniel is there for you in a very in your face, white text kind of manner. Uh, it pops out, stands out. And I think this is just a very clean intro. Um, it's five seconds, it's not 14 seconds. So like, if you wanna know more about Daniel, you just pause <coughs> the video and then go from there. But talking about kind of game footage itself um, and what I did for Daniel in regards to the highlights, um, I condensed seven minutes worth of footage down to a minute 30 seconds, just like four or five goals and two assists. And that's really all you need, guys, just to show the coach that you can play, and that's it. Like having like a 14 minute video um, sounds great, but that's actually doing more damage than good for you because coaches get deterred when they see like a 14 minute video. They're like, oh my gosh, 14 minutes? Are you kidding me? I don't have time to watch that. Um, so just having the basics is the best kind of route for coaches to watch the entire video and to understand how you play. But that is the highlight video itself. I'm gonna show you guys how to create the intro card if you wanna know how to make it. And then we'll carry on with the rest of the video after that. Um, but let's go ahead and open up Canva here and uh, I'll show you guys how I made this amazing intro card. The first step is hitting create design, obviously. Next step is going on to YouTube thumbnail. It's the same dimensions we want for the intro card itself. Once that's loaded in there, you wanna crop it and center it to your desired specifications. Once that's completed, you can go on to uh, adjust and just kind of fix the saturation, contrast, brightness to your desired kind of look and uh, just make the image pop more. That's not a big thing, but every single kind of small detail does matter when it comes to being recruited for college. So it's not a big thing, but if you're into like the small little details, you can adjust kind of saturation, contrast, and brightness to your desired look. Once that's done, you wanna go on to uh, download. You wanna download your image. Once that's saved, you wanna go on to the text elements and start writing your player information. Once that's done, you wanna hit um, your picture, not the text, but the picture itself. You wanna hit delete. Now you wanna go on to the background color and you wanna hit black and you wanna hit download again. You wanna save that uh, information about yourself. Once that's done, you wanna drag those two images that you just created off Canva onto your editing service, which is obviously iMovie in my case. Once you have those images in iMovie, you wanna go on to your um, crop tool. You wanna to fit that image or crop to fill your image of yourself and your player info. Once that's done, you wanna drag your player info on top of your player image. And once you have two layers in your timeline, you wanna go on to your top image, which is your player information. Double click that and go on to opacity, drop down the opacity so the image of you is still there, but the text really pops. And bada boom, bada bang, your intro card is now done. It took about maybe five or 10 minutes to make for me, nothing too drastic or time consuming. Um, it may seem like a lot of work, um, but if you watch the video really thoroughly, you would find out it's very easy to make if you actually start doing it yourself. Like yes, it maybe seems like it's a lot of steps to remember, um, but you have this video to really help you out in regards to making your own intro card. And these small things do add up guys to something that's pretty big. Like for you, maybe the intro card isn't 
that big of a deal, but these small things add up to something that's pretty drastic. So take the time and energy to master these small things because they do matter. But that is the intro card. Let's move on to the player CV or the player resume. <laughs> So the player CV guys, uh, player resume, players plain history is a few things to call, but they all mean the same exact thing. I didn't focus too much on this in high school because I thought it was more going from college to pro than it was going from high school to college. But coaches don't always like the aspect of watching a video. They just want to see your stats, your plain history in a condensed um, PNG or PDF file. So having this does help. I'll show you what I created. Uh, in regards to my own player CV on Canva, because I know you guys don't have Photoshop, so I have a few variations of my um, player resume, but I created this one off Canva so you guys can really understand what you can create in regards to player CV on a free editing software. So, this right here is what a player resume is in its most basic form, um, in a nutshell, pretty much. It's your name, obviously, it's your current club, your address, uh, place of birth, height, weight, position, bio, strengths, achievements, in your playing history for the past four or five years. That's essentially what a player resume is. You can add more stuff, you can add less stuff, but this is what it is in a nutshell. Um, and again, this is all edited on canva.com. I can move stuff around. Um, you guys can copy this template if you want to, but it's very important to have your playing history in text as coaches may not always have time to watch your video. So having this kind of quick abbreviated snapshot of your playing history is very beneficial to them. So make sure you guys take the time, energy, and effort to actually create a professional looking player CV. But that's gonna wrap up player CVs, player resumes, and uh, player history is condensed in a very abbreviated video here. Uh, there's more to it than this, so make sure you guys check out Matt Sheldon's video regarding how to make a CV. But so we're move on to the next kind of uh, main topic of today's video, and that is creating the email. All right, all right, all right. So we arrived, guys, at the last kind of facet and topic of today's video. And that's just the aspect of writing the dreaded email. Most players don't like to create and craft a professional looking email because they don't believe it's worth their time to do that. And I'm here to tell you guys that it is worth your time to create and write a professional looking email because in college, uh, to play in college, you need to create attention for yourself. And the best way to create attention for yourself is through the email. Most players in high school or transfers or something from other colleges really just overthink the process of writing the email. It's not writing five paragraphs. It's not giving too much information. It's not information overload. It's just writing a very condensed, very just grammatically correct email. That's it with your CV in your video. Kind of backtracking a little bit guys and talking about what I said previously about your video being too long, that goes hand in hand with your email being too long as well. There's a player that I knew back in high school that was super intelligent, super smart, but his email to coaches was 10 freaking paragraphs. You can't expect a coach to read 10 paragraphs um, of text. It's just not realistic, guys. Like, they get hundreds of emails per day from players and they can't read 10 paragraphs from one player. It's, it's just not possible. So make sure your email is just condensed with the most important points at the beginning. So having said that guys, um, I wanna sit down with you real quick and just write the email with you, what to say, what not to say, what you should include, what not to include, and very just brief condensed um, last part of this video today. But the first kind of step guys is having just a professional looking email address. Uh, most players have like something in regards to Soccer Star 2002, um, Soccer Prodigy 2001. It's having a professional looking email address and that comes down to just your name in the email. So if you don't have that, make sure you guys create that right now. I'll wait, it takes about a minute to create an email address. Like it honestly takes one minute to create, so I'll wait for you guys to do that first. Once that's done guys, uh, we can talk about actually the email itself and the message to coaches, what to include, what not to include. And the first thing to kind of touch on is just the aspect of don't write an oversized email. Don't write an intimidating email. Don't overthink it, keep it simple, straightforward to the point. What sells you best as a player? And that's different for every single player. Maybe it's your attacking ability, maybe it's your defensive ability, who knows? But don't talk about money scholarships. Don't ask what they can do for you guys. Don't ask what they can give you or offer you. Don't ask any of those stupid fucking questions regarding money, scholarships, or anything along those lines. Always ask how you can contribute to the program. What can you offer them? What makes you stand out? What can you do for them? So having said that guys, I'm going to pull up the old email that sent to coaches back in 2016 regarding um, transferring and um, this is the email I sent. So I think I showed this in the first video I created on YouTube in regards to getting a full ride. This email is very aged, it's very dated, it's very just in your face over the top. It's a lot of text, it's five paragraphs, it's four YouTube links. I would not recommend copying this format. It's very aged, very dated, and coaches again don't have time to read five paragraphs 
in 2019. But again, I would not recommend copying this format directly. So the plan now, guys, is to actually write an email um, as if I was in high school in 2019. What I would say, what I wouldn't say, what to include, what not to include, and again, very non-comprehensive, non-stressful, manner because most people don't like writing emails but I'm gonna show you guys what I would say if I was someone in high school right now um, so I'm currently marketing a player right now through NPM that's in Australia his name's Harrison he wants to go to America next year to play college soccer um, so having said that I'm gonna show you what I write for him to end today's video and then send that to coaches later on so part two of the series guys is gonna be actually replying to those emails and what he got from those emails I sent for him. So the reply is what to say, what not to say in regards to the replying aspect of college marketing. But I'll fast forward through this whole email creation process, guys, an email template and draft kind of ordeal because most players, most people don't want to see me write an email for an hour. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video after this email is done and show you what I wrote and why I wrote it and what I said. So bear with me as I write an email for an hour. So yeah, fun stuff. I'll catch you guys after this email is done. guys after about I don't know hour and a half of creating and um, drafting up and working on this email um, it's finally done but I feel like this email best captures Harrison's qualities as a player it's not too long it's not too short it's just two and a half paragraphs but the first kind of sense is key to leading on coaches and making them read more of the email itself and clicking on the video and I feel like that first paragraph first sentence does that it really sells them as a player but that's gonna wrap up uh, today's video guys I'm pretty whipped here I'm pretty burned out writing emails, marketing players, talking about college. So that's gonna wrap up today's video, but the next video of this series is gonna be actually replying to coaches, hopefully from this email itself. Hopefully there's some good replies back and we get some good responses from college coaches. But that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, comment, like, share, and as always, check you guys in the next video. Doses.